Today on Cheap Ass Movie Reviews, we're going to talk about a little bit about movie collecting and what to do when you get discs with no covers or boxes or artwork. And that does happen. Stay tuned after the break. Welcome into Cheap Ass Movie Reviews. I'm Eric Stafford, your host, and we are talking about what happens when you pick up some DVDs and Blu-rays and they don't have cases. Uh, I famously uh, ordered some movies from Bull Moose. You can order them online. You can get like five for five bucks. Uh, you can get Blu-rays, I believe, five for five bucks. They come with nothing. Nothing. Just the movie on the disc, which is what you pretty much want anyway. You just really want the media. But... What do you do with it after you get it? Well, because I have done so many of these Dollar Tree things where you pick up a couple of movies, you pick up a movie here and there, you can pretty much grab a Blu-ray case or a DVD case for a dollar because you get it with the movie and then it's a trash movie and you don't like the movie and you're like, I'm not keeping this. It's a great way to pick up these because if you go on to Amazon and buy them, they're like, it's like $12 for 10 or 13 bucks for 10 or something like that, which is crazy. Uh, you can go in and buy one for a dollar at a time. You don't like the movie? Uh, they, notoriously around here, they've got a Norman Lear movie. You go in there, <laughs> pick up Norman Lear on Blu-ray and get you a Blu-ray case if you don't have a case. Uh, uh, so that's, that's what I've done is I've picked up like this, I've picked up a, a DVD case and I just happened to uh, uh, have picked up a DVD case and uh, it was a multiple disc case and I was really happy with that because I'd picked up uh, back a uh, comic shop day which was supposed to be the first Saturday in May of 2020, uh, I picked up a three disc set, it's not even the whole set of Twin Peaks for a dollar at Dollar General, or Dollar General. <laughs> There's a lady online that does Dollar General. Anyway, I just thought that that was a good deal. I do like Twin Peaks. That first season was really good. Not a big fan of the second season, I will say that. I'd also picked up at Family Video, Logan Noir, which, or Noir, uh, which is uh, uh, the Logan movie in black and white, which we'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, I picked that up for a dollar. And so I had those two movies, no covers, no boxes, no nothing. So what I did was I took my Blu-ray cases, my DVD case that I picked up on the side. You go online, you look and you see, and somebody will have printed artwork to go in said cases. This is artwork for Logan. Uh, somebody had done it, they'd done it in color, and I added the little noir. I went and did that in Photoshop because I, I do have a graphic arts degree, but I, I did go into Photoshop and fiddle with that. But you could still have done just the Logan movie and printed it out. So you had Logan, you grab your little Blu-ray case from whatever crappy movie you decided not to keep and cut, size, and insert. A lot of people do these online and they do them. There's even people that sell them on eBay. Like if you want a real fancy one, they'll sell them to you and mail them to you. Uh, but um, anyway, I got my little uh, Logan logo, put my little noir on it, and I made it black and white. The guy had made it in color and had a really fancy uh, Marvel graphics and all this stuff like that, but I thought that was a great shot from the movie and a great poster view of that. And then I just added a little noir to it and did it in black and white with my one little bit of red on it, and there you go. Now what I was saying about the movie is at the time when this movie came out and they decided to do the black and white version, the noir version of it, uh, that sounds like a good idea. And I'm trying to think of the other film that they did that way, which I know you guys are probably yelling at the screen about, but I can't remember what it is. But it was about that same time period and people decided, oh, well, that should be a black and white film. It looks much tougher, much grittier, much, it's so, it's so gritty, it looks more noir. So uh, they did that. Well, that's all fine and good, but there's two plot points kind of in the movie where they use color subtly and the way that they used it. So I don't understand why the director even like agreed to this because he had to go through those shots. Uh, there's the scenes with uh, 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 God, Morlock. I can't even remember the guy's name. But anyway, there's times that he's beat up and he changes color. So, so that matters. Then when Logan fights Logan at the end, 
which spoilers, it's an old movie. Um, when he fights him, he would drain and lose his color. You could see that he was he was having a hard time. He would lose his color. So those two subtle things are kind of lost in that representation of the movie. Anyway, totally different movie review. I thought that the director should have pointed that out and told them not to do it. But, I mean, if they really wanted to do it that bad. Now, on the other hand, because I've been rambling, um, I had picked up... Um, like a multiple movie pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And it was like four or five movies, three or four movies. And I thought that's the perfect case for this because the movies were horrible. It was made by Echo Bridge. It was classic Hollywood movies with like Elizabeth Taylor in them and stuff like that when she was a kid. And that's fine, they're great movies. But the quality of Echo Bridge was freaking horrendous. It was the worst looking digitized piece of crap I'd ever seen in my entire life. And I could not sit through it. So there you go. Uh, there's upscaling, but they ain't fixing, you know, chicken salad and chicken shit. It just, it just don't really work. Anyway, so I would basically bought a case for a dollar. So I had that case. I had my three Twin Peaks disc fit in there perfecto. Went and grabbed artwork for the Twin Peaks pilot episode because I like that cover the best. Just so I know it's Twin Peaks. Trimmed it to size, got it to fit. There's Laura Palmer gracing the front of the cover. So it's just like a little cheap, quick fix that you can do and still have that great artwork. Uh, maybe somebody else's artwork, but they posted it online so you can have it. There are actually places like cdcover.com uh, or just search them, man, because you'll be able to find it. You'll find a, a alternate cover that you like really like something you've never seen before or something a graphic artist has done. And like I say, you can go on eBay and people make them themselves and print them on high quality paper and we'll mail them to you if you want to go that route. Now, I've never done that, but, uh, uh, but you know, print it out on the color printer and there you go. I got, got a nice little bit of artwork. Just a little handy thing for us visual guys, uh, people who uh, uh, collect movies and you want to have that complete collection, but you still want to get them on the cheap. And then now you've got like a talking piece because somebody's like, man, I never saw that cover for that. And it's like, I made it myself, got it myself, got it offline. So it's just another little fun aspect of collecting movies. I'm Eric Stafford saying I hope you have a great time at the movies. And if you like this video and you like my content, all you got to do is hit like and subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it helped you out. It might help you uh, straighten up your collection a little bit and uh, keep things going. Have a great day.